This is lesson 6 on the unit on transition metal chemistry from unit F325. In today's lesson we'll be looking at the stability constant K stab. The learning objectives for this lesson are to be able to deduce expressions for the stability constant, understand the relevance of the magnitude of the stability constant and carry out related calculations. Finally you need to be able to explain the biochemical importance of haemoglobin as an example of a transition metal complex. The stability constant is written as K stab. This is an equilibrium constant for the equilibrium that is established between, transition between a transition metal ion surrounded by water and the complex formed when this, with the same ion and other ligands once it's undergone ligand substitution. Looking at an example with the cobalt hexa aqua ion with excess ammonia, as with all equilibrium constant expressions, products are written at the top of the expression and the reactants below. As there are six ammonia molecules, the concentration of ammonia is written to the power of six. Also note there are double square brackets when writing the concentration terms for the complex ions. One for the complex ion with the overall charge on the outside and a second showing us that the value, so it's showing us that it is representing a concentration. Finally note that the water has not been included in the expression. This is because all species are dissolved in water, so the concentration of water is so high that making a little more during the reaction doesn't make a difference. Therefore we assume the concentration of water to be virtually constant and so ignored. We calculate units in exactly the same way we calculate the units of any equilibrium constant. There is one concentration term on the top, seven on the bottom. Cancelling out leaves us with 6 at the bottom, making the overall units moles to the minus 6, dm to the 18. So what does k stab tell us? Well simply put, it tells us how stable the complex ion is. The higher k stab, the more stable the complex ion, and the easier it is to form. k stab values vary hugely, it can be very small or very large. Looking at an example, the stability constant for the zinc 2 plus ion with 4 cyanide ligands is much larger than that of the zinc 2 plus ion with 4 ammonia ligands. This shows a strong coordination bond between the zinc 2 plus ion and the cyanide ligands compared with a much weaker bond between the zinc 2 plus ion and the ammonia ligands. Looking at an um, Looking at a worked example, as with equal, all equilibrium constants, it's possible to carry out calculations to work out either K-stab, if you've given all the concentrations of the different species at equilibrium, or a concentration of one of the species at equilibrium when given other concentrations and the equilibrium constant K-stab. When carrying out concentrations, remember to double check that all the values have concentration units before you start. The slide shows us the worked example which is taken from the textbook on page 217. Try and have a go to yourself without looking at the textbook. The, the answers are on the following slide, so pause the video now and check your answers. Looking at complex ions in a biological context, red blood cells contain haemoglobin, which is a complex protein that consists of four polypeptides which each contain a heme group. The heme group has a central Fe2 plus ion, and this can form six coordinate bonds. Four of these are with nitrogen atoms in the heme structure, and a further coordinate bond is with the, glo is with the globin protein. The final coordinate bond is with an oxygen atom from an oxygen molecule. This is how the, the haemoglobin carries oxygen around the body. The oxygen is picked up in the lungs and is released in the cells around the body where it's needed. The Fe2 plus ion in haemoglobin can also form a much stronger irreversible coordinate bond with carbon monoxide. This reduces the amount of oxygen that can be carried around the body. In some cases, if the amount of carbon monoxide is high enough, and not enough oxygen is provided to the cells, it is fatal. Cigarettes contain carbon monoxide, which can cause shortness of breath in smokers. 
The stronger bond between the Fe2 plus ion and the carbon monoxide means that the value for K stab for this complex is higher than the one formed between the Fe2 plus and oxygen. And this is ultimately why carbon monoxide is toxic. We're almost at the end of this lesson. Let's just look back at the learning objectives. You should be able to write expressions for the stability constant, remembering to leave out the water. Understand the relevance of the magnitude of the stability constant and carry out related calculations. You need to be able to explain the biochemical importance of haemoglobin as an example of a transition metal complex and why carbon monoxide is toxic to living things. During class time, we'll look at some quest exam questions on the stability constant as well as some exam questions on ligand exchange, so we'll leave it there for now.